comparative life cycle assessment of timber and steel roof trusses for a single detached house model in Marae City, Philippines. One third of the world's total land area consists of forests, and it's about 4,033 million hectares of land. 93% of this area is considered as natural forests, while the remaining 7% is planted. We can get many direct benefits from forestry resources. And these include food, medicine, organic fertilizers, fuel, timber, and many more. In the construction industry, there exists a variety of materials which serve different purpose and wood is just one of the most commonly used in creating buildings and other infrastructures. Others are concrete, asphalt, metals, glass, bricks, plastics. In one complete building, several components make up the whole structure, which also result from combining various materials. Wood, would never be out of place in such. The specification of each material would depend on the designer, taking into account the availability of material, the time, the cost, the quality, and of course, the requirement desired by the owner. In the residential housing sector, wood is being utilized for a wide array of uses. Hardwoods, usually coming from deciduous trees which lose leaves annually, are commonly used in the construction of walls, ceilings, and floors. On the other hand, softwoods, those coming from conifers which usually remain evergreen, are often used to make doors, furniture, and window frames. A truss system, considered as a key element in a building, serves a critical function in the overall design of the building. This joint framed structure sustains loads from all directions, thereby contributing to the design strength of the whole structure. Roof truss structure is assembly of individual lightweight pieces which are designed into triangular substructures to form the frame of a sloped roof. What if we compare wood and steel in an environmental perspective? In fact, many studies around the world have been previously made comparing these two. In general, using wood in construction has pros and cons, same with steel. Wood is often preferred when properties such as thermal, acoustic, mechanical, aesthetic, oxidation, and variation are of great importance. However, in terms of disadvantages, wood may not be a good choice because of its shrinkage and swelling, deterioration, and moisture content among others. On the other hand, steel is found to be more suitable than wood due to its low maintenance costs, durability, pest resistance, and fire-resistive performance. In this study our main objective is to assess and compare the environmental footprints of using timber and steel for a roof truss structure using the Life Cycle Assessment LCA, methodology. LCA or Life Cycle Analysis is a technique to assess environmental impacts associated with all the stages of a product's life, from raw material extraction through transportation, manufacturing, distribution slash use and disposal after its useful life. LCA is carried out in accordance with the requirements and procedure set by the ISO 14040 and 14044 which consist of four analytical steps, goal and scope definition, life cycle inventory, life cycle impact assessment, and interpretation. For this study, SEMA Pro, the world-leading LCA software, was used for the inventory and database on resources consumption and environmental emissions. In both case study, the product stage and construction stage was included in the cradle-to-gate system boundary. In this roof framing system study, Issues associated with material acquisition, transportation, and on-site construction has been taken into account. 
Conversely, the study does not cover all other stages after construction due to the absence of data needed to model this phase. Furthermore, the reference service life is not specified as the study is cradle to gate and does not cover life cycle stages for product use. The functional unit for the study was a roof structure designed for 22 square m single detached NA standard housing model. The model house has a length of 5.5 m and a width of 4 m. It was assumed that this design was adopted for the construction of transitory shelter houses in Marae City. Two different roof framing systems were selected as case studies. Case study 1 was a roof framing system made up of timber truss and purlins while for case study 2, truss and purlins are made of steel. In an attempt to achieve a fair comparison between the roof framing system considered in the present study, the structural design was carried out using a design software, eTabs, considering same design parameters set by the National Housing Authority for Disaster Resilient Houses. Based on the analysis and design using the eTabs software, the cross-section for the timber and steel trusses members were obtained. The quantity of materials required to construct one functional unit for timber and steel roof truss was estimated. A source from National Mapping and Resource Information Authority, NAMRIA, showed the timber license agreement areas in the Philippines. Based on the map, only a small portion of the country is licensed for timber production. In Mindanao, regions 9, 10 and 13 are the only approved zones for timber making. The timbers used for case study 1 was assumed to be extracted from the timber corridor of the Philippines, Carriga region. Sawmill were identified in the same area, where the timber were processed and ready for delivery to Marae City, Laneo del Norte. This map, figure on the second, shows the travel time from Carriga region to Marae City through Google Maps. Based on the online open source database, the shortest time to travel from extraction to actual site area is around 7 hours and 21 minutes. Iron ore mine is located in Surigao province where raw materials are extracted and initial material processes were conducted. It is then transported Davao, the nearest steel mill company in Mindanao Island. However, Steel Asia manufactures reinforcement bar only. Thus, the only option is to export steel products in other countries. From Manila, steel products are transported to Marae City. The figure shows the fastest route from Manila to Marawi. Land travel of materials will take up to 33 hours of non-stop travel of a distance of 1,535 kilometers. For the transportation stages of the LCA studies, a Euro 3 freight lorry with 16 to 32 metric tons load capacity was considered. The transport distances are specified. The first case study assesses the environmental performances of timber truss roof framing system. By analyzing the resulted values, it can be observed that transportation and sawn timber elements used for truss members and purlins have the most important contribution in establishing the impact of the timber truss roof framing system. The transportation considered in the study has the biggest negative impact in the case of global warming potential as well as in other environmental parameters except for land use. The resulted values shows that sawn timber elements have big impact in case of land use. The second case study assesses the environmental performances of steel truss roof framing system. By analyzing the resulted values, it can be observed that transportation and steel element used for truss members and purlins have the most important contribution in establishing the impact of the timber truss roof framing system. The transportation considered in the study has the biggest negative impact in the case of global warming potential as well as in other three impact categories considered especially for land use. However, the resulted values show that show that steel elements have big impact in case of freshwater eutrophication.
it can be observed that the steel truss roof system assessed in case study 2 has the highest impact over the natural environment. This structure is responsible for the largest volume of negative effects in the case of all impact categories, except for land use where timber truss roof systems show as much greater impact. If we consider the global warming potential, the steel truss roof system presents the greater negative effect over the climate change phenomena. At the same time, this structure has the largest impact in the case of the ozone depletion, freshwater eutrophication, and water consumption. On the other hand, timber truss roof system is responsible for the most important volume of negative effects in the case of the land use category. Considering the values resulted in this section, it can be stated that from a cradle to gate point of view, the steel truss roof system has the highest ecological impact, making the timber truss roof system the most environmentally friendly solution, having the lowest impact in 4 out 5 impact categories. Hey, we are now on the conclusion part. Given that the construction industry is a major contributor in terms of significant impact over the Earth's ecosystem, the researchers consider that identifying and understanding the environmental effects of building materials represent an important step in the design process of a structure. From the performed analyses, taking into account the five considered environmental parameters, we can conclude that the timber roof truss system is the more environmentally friendly option due to the fact that the ecological influence of this structure is lower than that of the steel truss roof system in 4 out of 5 impact categories. However, considering the fact that forests have a critical function in sustaining life by using wood as a construction material, the natural environment can be substantially influenced in a negative manner. This is evident in the analysis having a result showing higher negative impact of using timber in terms of land use. Before we end, allow us to recommend a few things that could be an area of interest for future researchers. Transportation being the largest contributor of the GHG emission as shown from the result, it is hereby recommended that a nearer material source be identified to reduce impact due to this component. Resource sustainability is an important aspect that requires attention when dealing with the use of timber as construction materials. Despite the fact that the use of timber proves to be more environmentally friendly alternative compared to steel, its influence in the natural environment is an issue that needs to be further investigated. This is to ensure that our forest remains healthy and that the forest industry continues to provide the country with a steady stream of benefits.